Background radiation is the small amount of radiation that is always around us due to various sources. So we're constantly exposed to this small amount of background radiation. This level of radiation is generally too small to cause us harm. So this radiation isn't dangerous as it's very weak compared to direct source exposure. So where can we find background radiation? Well, many rocks on Earth contain radioactive isotopes that emit small amounts of radiation. Some examples of these radioactive isotopes include thorium, uranium, radon, and also potassium. These isotopes contribute to background radiation as radiation is released by the rocks. These isotopes also end up in concrete used for buildings, but you aren't expected to remember the exact isotopes or elements responsible for the radiation from rocks in your exam. So what happens if these chemicals are released into the atmosphere? The largest source of background radiation is the radon gas released by these rocks. So air contains a small amount of radon, and this contributes to background radiation as the radon emits radiation towards the surface of the Earth. Radon is particularly dangerous as it's an alpha emitter that we can inhale without realising. Certain parts of the world have larger concentrations of radon in the air depending on the types of rock they have. So what other sources of background radiation are there on Earth? Well, organic materials contain some radioactive isotopes such as carbon-14 and potassium-40. These isotopes occur naturally in animals and plants, for example, and they're replaced as quickly as they decay. Water can also pick up radioactive isotopes from the Earth, so isotopes get into rivers as they're absorbed from the rocks and soil. But are there any other sources of background radiation that don't originate on Earth? Well, cosmic rays are radiation from outer space that contribute to the background radiation on Earth. Cosmic rays reach the Earth in the form of electromagnetic waves that travel through vacuum. Cosmic rays can also cause nuclear reactions in the atmosphere which create unstable isotopes. You don't need to know about all of these background radiation sources in detail, but you should remember as many as you can as you could be asked to give examples in an exam. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.